praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read second peter chapter 3 from the king james version bible let us pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us bless us and be with us amen as we see in second peter chapter 3 mockery in the last days is the title beloved i now write to you the second epistle in both of which i stir up your mind pure minds by way of reminder verse 2 that you may be mindful of the words which are spoken before me by the holy spirit by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the lord and savior as we see in verse 2 that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the lord and savior verse 3 knowing this first that scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own lusts verse 4 and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation was 5 for this they willfully forget that by the word of god the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water was six by which the world that then existed perished being flooded with water was seven but the heavens and the earth which now exist were kept in store by the same word reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men manifestation of the day of the lord was we read in 8 but beloved do not forget this one thing that with the lord one day is as a thousand years and a day thousand years as one day yes beloved do not forget this one thing that with the lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day was 9 the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some count slackness but is long suffering toward us not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance was 10 but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up as we see the maturity in view of the day of the lord verse 11 therefore since all these things will be dissolved what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness was we read in 12 looking for and hastening the coming of the day of god because of which the heavens will be dissolved being on fire and on the elements will melt with fervent heat was 13 nevertheless we according to his promise 
look for new heavens and new earth and it which righteousness dwells as we see in verse 13 nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells verse 14 therefore beloved looking forward to these things be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless verse 15 and account that the long suffering of our lord is salvation as also our beloved brother paul according to the wisdom given to him has written to you verse 16 as also in all his epistles speaking to them of these things speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to understand which those who are untaught and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do also the rest of the scriptures verse 17 you therefore beloved since you know these things beforehand beware lest you also fall from your own steadfastness being led away with the error of the wicked verse 18 but grow in the grace and knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be glory be the glory both now and for ever amen here ends the reading of second peter chapter 3 may god bless the reading as we saw over here beloved there is mockery in the last days also we have seen manifestation of the day of the lord the maturity in view of the day of the lord as we saw that the verse 18 and also we say and we see that in verse 8 but beloved it says do not forget this one thing that with the lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day yes it is true beloved and verse 18 says but grow in the grace and knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be the glory both now and forever amen yes the words are true let us grow in the grace and the knowledge of the lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. So what shall we do? Let us surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. And also, let us commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. As He is our Saviour, as we read in Revelation 7.10, He is our salvation. And Revelation 7.17 says, He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters. And also, He will be our shepherd. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. As we read in Psalm 23, verse 1. He is a mighty God and he is the King of kings, beloved. He loves us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. And also he will bless us, bless us abundantly. As we read the mighty word, yes, he will never leave us nor forsake us. As we read in Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. And also as we read in psalm 36 verse 8 he will bless us abundantly as we also see in ephesians 3 verse 20 let us make it a point every day to read the bible the manna to our soul and the road map of life because as we see but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ as the word says in second peter chapter 3 verse 18 yes when we meditate on the word of god when we read the bible what does happen when we fear the living god our mighty god we will have wealth and richness in our house the words are true beloved heavens and earth shall pass away but his words will not pass away 
as we read in Matthew 24, 35. And as we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me, beloved. As we read in Hebrews 13, verse 8, that he is the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today and forever. What miracles happened 2,000 years before will happen today also. Yes, for a mighty God has loved us. Yes, he will lead us, guide us, bless us, teach us everything. Yes, as we read in Psalm 32 verse 8, Let us no way become like a horse or a mule, or else his word will not keep with us. Yes, what is your requirement today, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear children? Go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ and pray and fast and fast if required. As Ezra 8.23 says, We fasted, we entreated our God and he answered our prayer. God, a living God, is a God who hears our prayers and answers our prayer. Hallelujah. Yes, as we read in Micah 7.7, 7, the word says, I will look to the Lord, I will wait for him and he will answer my prayer. Yes, our God will answer our prayer and also he will never leave us nor forsake us. Every word in the Bible is true, beloved. Yes, underline the words where Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to you and also put the date and time and keep your hand on it. And this is for true and for sure that you will receive the blessings. I am his witness. I want you also to receive the blessings which has been given free of cost. As the word says, ask and ye shall receive. As we read in Matthew yes, 7 verse 8. And the word says, further, it shall be given to everyone. There is no bias, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're somebody, whether you're nobody. The blessing is for everybody, beloved. Yes, he is our Emmanuel, Ebenezer, Yahweh Ire. He is God with us. He will God. He is a God who will help us. And he's a God, yes, a living God, who will provide all our needs. As we read in Proverbs, yes, the words are true. As we read in Genesis 22, verse 14, and Genesis 22, verse 8. Yes, and also, he is present with us, always. Yes, he will take care of us. And also, he will never leave us, nor forsake us. Joshua 1, verse 9. Yes, as we see the mighty word, let us surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. As Acts 16, verse 30 and 31 says, for the Philippian jailer asked Paul, What shall I do to be saved? As he was in a state of ending up his life, as Paul was released from the prison by the mighty power of a living God. Yes, a mighty God can do anything and everything. As Job 42 2 says, He can do everything. Yes, God can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. Yes, he does raise one from the ash heaps, from the down to earth position. He does raise one person up. He has all power and authority, beloved. As we read in the mighty word, yes, Matthew 28, and also even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, so the word says, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your household will be saved. Hallelujah. Take water baptism and also ask for the Holy Spirit, the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit and also do pray and also read the Bible every day. Make it a point, beloved. From the 24 hours, give half an hour to read the Bible and to pray. For nothing can stop what God has ordained for you and me. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking, is Yes, as we read in Isaiah 14, verse 27. And every curse will be turned into blessing for you and me, beloved. As we read in Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. Yes, when we obey, what is the benefit? What is the result? As everybody today asks about the result, isn't it? The word says, when we love him, our mighty God, when we keep his commandment, we shall be the head and not the tail. And thou wilt bless my basket, 
and we shall not borrow but lend to the nations. The words are true as we read the mighty word. Hallelujah. It is speaking, yes, in Deuteronomy 28, yes, 1 to 14. Yes, let us be victorious in life, for in all these things we are more than conquerors, as we read in Romans 8, verse 37. Do not quit in life. Do not give up in life, nor also do not commit suicide. Yes, my dear brother, sister, children, ask your request to the Lord Jesus Christ. For the word is saying to you and to me, as we read in Zechariah 1.3 and Malachi 3, the same words, God, a mighty God, is saying to you and to me, Return to me, and I will return to you. Yes, he is the God of the living, not the dead, and all live to him. As we read in Luke 20, verse 38, Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And also, the words are true, Acts 1.8. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we will receive the power, and we will be his witness in Judea, in Samaria, in Jerusalem, and to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. We have one life, beloved. Let us live the life according to the will of a living God. Always say, Thy will be done. John 6, verse 38. And trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62, verse 8. Come what may, may be hard days, sad days, maybe you may lose everything in life, or you may be nowhere, but always trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62, verse 8. For the words are true, Jeremiah 1, verse 5, as mighty God says, even before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. The words are true, beloved. Yes, even before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. So God has a plan. God has a purpose for you and me. Yes, we victorious in life. As we read in Job chapter 23, verse 14, the word says that all purpose in my life is as per his appointment. Hallelujah. Yes, let us seize the day, beloved. And also, remember, the victory rests with the mighty God. Proverbs 21, verse 31. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory rests with the mighty God. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord what is his will for you in your life. Yes, he will speak to you. Yes, in 1985, I did pray and ask God's will for me. And the word came to me. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks in all circumstances and pray constantly. For this is will of God in Jesus Christ for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 the words have come true. Yes, the words are true, beloved. You will get the perfect answer for the Bible. It is the living word of God. Yes, what is the word? The word is life. The word is spirit. John 6, verse 63. And he who speaks the word, let him speak it faithfully. For the word is fire. The word is hammer, which will break the rock into pieces. As we read in Jeremiah 23, verse 28 and 29. And what is the word? The word is Jesus Christ, beloved. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. Yes, he will provide all our needs, beloved. Also, my dear children, my dear youth, he will give you the wisdom. Lord Jesus Christ will give you the wisdom. James 1, verse 5 is true. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, that give it to all men liberally and abrideth not. He will help you to pursue your further career and academics. Yes, and also, he will give the wisdom to everyone, for he is the fountain of wisdom. Yes, and also, let us be encouraged. And also, the word is saying to you and to me, Second Corinthians 12 verse 9, as we read the mighty word, Yes, my grace is sufficient for thee, and my power is made perfect in weakness. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes, let us be encouraged. Hallelujah. Yes, for all your prayer requests, to send us an email, we will pray for you. Jesus Christ will answer your prayer. Also, we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, heal my brother, sister, children who are in the sick bed, for with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Yes, Isaiah 53, verse 5 is true. Also, we read in Matthew 8, 17, that words are true, for you took our infirmities and carried our diseases. Your words are true. Touch my brother, sister, children. Provide all the needs, heal them, bless them. 
Yes, that word is living, that word is true. And also, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Hebrews 13 verse 8 is true. Yes, thank you for being a mighty God, a living God. And also, yes, we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, bless my brother and sister today. Amen. As arise and shine is the message for you and me, beloved. As a 60 verse 1, yes, do arise and shine. As also the word says, yes, for all those who wish to give the tithes, free will offering and also the donations. Yes, this is the mission for the blind. You may give it as the Lord leads you. Yes, beloved. And also we will pray for you and there will be showers of blessing in each one of our house as the Lord has promised us for each one of us. As we read in Ezekiel 34.26. When we wake up in the morning, let us thank the living God, our loving Father, for all His faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. Psalm 92, verse 2. Yes, beloved. And let us wear the armor of God every day, for the devil is prowling outside. Ephesians 6, 11. Let us wear the armor of God. That is the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Yes, the words are true. Let us be encouraged and let us never give up in life. Be blessed today and every day.